Grace. Today I'm doing my August favorites. As you can see, the background's really different. It's because I moved to Mosaic um, and I live in an apartment now. So there's like windows everywhere. Here's our patio and stuff. Um, oh, frick. Once my room is completely finished, I'm thinking about doing a room tour or a closet tour or something like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And yeah, that's about it for the intro. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already and let's just get into it. So I'm going to start with skincare and then beauty. So first for skincare uh, is this dry brush and I'll link the one that I use down below. I got it off of Amazon. Um, so I do this every single night and basically you like brush upwards all over your body starting like from your ankles like all the way up towards your heart and there's a lot of benefits to doing this I'll list some on the screen right now but um yeah I just love it I, I do it like every night it's become part of my routine and it's really good for you so next is this um, tea tree water toner from Lush and if you guys saw my skincare routine you know that I use the simple micellar water um, so at nighttime when I'm using that on the cotton pad, I'll spray um, like two spritz of this on there and then I'll use that before I put on like my serums and my moisturizer and stuff. The last skincare thing is this Vivier Vitamin C scrub with hyaluronic acid and microbeads and it's an exfoliant. It looks like this. So I got this at the place where I get my facials, which is like my gym, and I'll try and find a link to it down below. Um, it smells like oranges, kind of, and basically I put this in with my face cleanser every other day, and I just noticed a good, uh, a big difference in my skin. It first takes off like all the dead skin cells, obviously, but it just makes your skin feel more fresh and vibrant, so... I've been loving that. Um, that's all I have for skincare. But moving on to beauty, I have three products. First is this sunscreen. I use this every single day. My dad recommended it to me, actually. He bought it for me on Amazon and sent it over here. But it's the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence Sunscreen. It has SPF 50, and it doesn't smell like sunscreen when you put it on. And it has like a gel watery like base like as it says so one I don't like the smell of sunscreen so I love this because it doesn't smell like that and then two it has a different consistency it doesn't feel like it's like oily I don't know you know how when you put on sunscreen it's like weird feeling on your skin this one blends into your skin it soaks into your pores and it also works as a good makeup base because it's a little not sticky but like tacky kind of when you put it on so it's a good makeup base if you wear makeup so I put this on an everyday basis because it's important to protect your skin next I have this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer this is the like normal one I know there's like oil free and like whatever but this is just the normal one and mine's in the shade tawny um I've only used this a couple times so far but I really like it just because when I don't feel like putting on a full fa face of foundation, but I want to like look good if there's like pictures or anything, then I put this on and it blends into my skin really nicely and it doesn't look cakey. And so, yeah, I like that. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> um, last is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, I love this stuff. I've been using it for a while. And I use it every morning before I go to school and then sometimes like throughout the day or at night too. But it smells like bubble gum and it just looks like this. It's like really pink and it's really moisturizing on your lips. So, so for clothing favorites, um, I don't I didn't really know how to categorize like this, like if I should show specific pieces or whatever, but um, one thing that I just love throwing on like all the time are t-shirt dresses just like if I'm I don't know just so easy to throw on it's so comfortable and they could look cute or they do look cute I guess 
This one is one of my favorites. It's from Urban Outfitters. Um, this is another one of my favorites. It's also from Urban. Oh, I get, so I always go into the men's sale section and they have like racks of um, like big t-shirts. So I find like those shirts are from there. So they're also really cheap and they're really comfortable and cute. This one's from Forever 21. I got this a while ago, but it's just, it's cute, you know. And then this one I also got from Urban. This one's not like the same material as the other t-shirt dresses. Those are like not dressy, but more dressy than this. This is like casual material because it's just like a t-shirt, but I got it oversized. And the back looks like that. Like, it's really cute. Um, I also just like Urban Outfitters t-shirts, like even from the women's section. Um, I have a ton of like their comfortable loose t-shirts. And then this next thing is a, like one thing and it's like a set. It's this tracksuit set. I got it from Topshop, but it's the brand um, Mistress Rocks. Uh, so it's a really cute burnt orange color. The jacket is a little crop. It gets cinches right there. And then the sleeves also. And it's super cute and zips up and whatever. And then the pants are also really cute. They look like that. Like, obviously it's matching. And I'm so excited to wear it in like the fall time or whenever I just want to. I'm just like lazy and throw it on. And then I guess another favorite it's like everyone's favorite i guess but they're tube tops just like any kind of tube top i'm wearing this one right now from urban but um it just looks like this it's like striped you know um most of my tube tops are from urban i like this material i think it's called like silent something 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 but um i'll put a link to them below and I also have a couple from like Forever 21 or Brandy Melville. And they're really cute to pair with anything. You can wear it with um, shorts or skirts or jeans. Literally anything. So I really like it. It's a good staple to have in your closet. For food, I've been loving nectarines. I literally go to the store like every couple of days and buy more and more. And it's so good. So... Yep, that's my food favorites right now. Shoe favorites. I've been loving espadrilles. These are the ones that my mom got me. They're so cute and casual. You can wear them with anything. And I just love espadrilles in general. Even like espadrille wedges. I want to get some of those. But they're so easy to put on. And um, they go with a lot of things. And I like how it makes something casual or... And just like really cute. I don't know. I like them. Now I'm going to share some TV shows and movies. Maybe if I can think of some that I've been loving. Mostly TV shows. Okay, so I'm going to name some TV shows. So, I've been loving... Okay, I already finished it. Like, uh, both of them. But um, Arrow and The Flash. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm, I've been obsessed with like DC Legends of Tomorrow. And right now I'm like kind of watching Supergirl. But... I'm also just waiting for Flash and Arrow to come back on because they're starting a new season in October, so I'm super excited. And <laughs> then I'm also, so I need to watch Supergirl and obviously like the DC Legends of Tomorrow and whatever. And so yeah, that's what the shows I've been loving. Let me check my phone real quick. This is such an old movie, but they finally added it on Netflix a while ago. And so uh, I rewatched it and it's still so funny, but the movie gets smart. Yeah, I don't really know. I forgot what I've been watching in the theaters. But I still need to watch the new Mission Impossible. I can't believe it's the last one. I love Mission Impossible. And I need to watch Mamma Mia 2. I haven't watched any movies in the theaters recently. Uh, I also want to watch Crazy Rich Asians. And yeah, but basically that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a good school year so far. Please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. It would really mean a lot, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!